it just uh, I I have something to say, you know, that not everybody, you know, uh, that not everybody knows. Yeah, I went through it, so um, maybe she'll listen to me. I just wanted to help her because I know um, what she was going through. Yeah. So this happened in August 2011. Did, did anyone tell? Well, I, nobody even stopped. Nobody informed. It's like people were waiting for somebody to just do that. I knew that I didn't conduct myself in the best of manners. So I was a little worried until that night when my best friend called me to say that something's up. You should see it. Yeah. So that's when I knew that, yeah, something was, something was wrong. So I was labeled the, the, the most stupid person on earth. I don't know. <laughs> uh, to, to be laughed at, it's difficult, yeah? And um, for... For, for for people to you know to just uh, just to see people happy uh, for your demise it's it's just it's troubling you know it really broke my spirit and uh, as I have said the magnitude is unlike we've ever seen before and uh, it didn't come uh, without any cost, you know. Uh, today, I, uh, I have my shrink, I have my, you know, my uh, prescription medicine, yeah. And uh, also, um, I have the suicidal ideation, okay, uh, because of that. Um, your spirit can only do so much. Yeah, I applied one time in this law firm and I think that I was already a risk because the law firm is predominantly female. S on top of that, they had to deal with somebody so broken and they just couldn't risk it because uh, for them, perhaps I was borderline a sociopath. So, and I can't blame them, you know. I mean, uh, uh, you know, I mean, uh, you just don't come out of it. Uh, of, of it unscathed. Um, my concern was to survive, yeah. So I dropped everything, um, uh, you know, I was, I had no appetite for anything. And so um, I left the country because for me this was the site of the crime, remember? And uh, again, the, there's that big difference between um, real-time space assault and cyberspace assault, you know. In the latter case, you I don't know. I, I don't think you can go to a house and feel safe. You know, it's just that the the attack uh, uh, is coming at you from you know from everywhere, and there's that's uh, it's 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 sort of permanent, so it never ceases. So I had to left the the site of the crime. You know, uh, I found myself in the company of monks in temples in Chiang Mai, Thailand. And uh, these monks were just uh, so uh, laid back. They were scantily clothed. They were sweeping the floors barefoot. Yet they had that, you know, contagious joy. And they helped me slowly. My, you know, appetite uh, began to come back. I, I could taste food again because they taught me that, uh, you know, um, we arrive on this planet without anything, we will leave the planet without anything. And not even the high regard others have for you, you carry with you when you die. So for me, you shouldn't look for that affirmation by others. You know, that's not your source of happiness. So I had to remodel, to retool, to, to have that paradigm shift, absolutely. So uh, because of that, um, you know, retooling, yeah, my model for happiness, okay, had drastically changed. Uh, I survived. Do unto others what you, you know, want them to do unto you or do not do unto others what you don't want them to do unto you. No. So if you don't want people maligning you, then don't do that, right? Which brings us to this, you know, important, if you allow me, okay, passage from, uh, you know, uh, from history regarding one of Socrates' encounters, all right? Somebody approached him and said, Socrates, I have something to say to you about Diogenes. And then Socrates said, uh, well, 
let me stop you, okay? Um, I have these three filter tests for you, okay? Number one is, is what you're gonna tell me the truth? And then he said, no, um, it's not the truth. So he said, so you're willing to tell me something that you know, you're not sure to be true. And then the second test is, is this, okay, is this something good about Diogenes? He said, uh, on the contrary, so Socrates said, so it's not true and then it's bad, okay? It's, it's not good. Anyway, there's still this third test, all right? The third test is, is this um, useful to me, this information? He said, um, not really. So Socrates said, so you're going to tell me something about Diogenes that is not true, not good about Diogenes, and not useful to me. So why tell it to me at all? So the lesson is that, you know. The, people should ask themselves that before they post anything, before they comment, before they like something, right? So that's it, you know. Uh, the Anti-Bullying Act of 2012 is one such technique. Yes. So here, schools are instructed to conduct, you know, educational campaigns. For the victims of cyberbullying, maybe the state has, if it has the resources, can extend, you know, the services of public social workers, public psychologists, okay, because we do have them. If your, the social media platform violates your right to privacy or becomes complicit in the circulation of some defamatory material against you, then you can go to a court of law and enforce your right. I understand that libel in other jurisdictions has been decriminalized, but in this jurisdiction, libel is still very much criminal, right? Not even the Supreme Court can touch that. Why? Because we put premium on dignity, yes? And that is property. The Supreme Court even said that, you know, reputation is the great equalizer. A wealthy man, okay, can be besides somebody who is not as wealthy or poor but has a good reputation and, they, and, this, and this poor person can hold his own, yeah? Because it is a source of pride to have a good reputation. And that's all he has. So these are the remedies available to a victim. I have not become the bully because they say that, you know, uh, the victim, okay, will be your next bully. But I'm proud to say that I am not, I've not become one. In fact, uh, I want to dedicate my, you know, my life to public service. So it's a testament to really um, how I came out of the whole experience, you know, not mentally unhinged, I would say.